So going into this video, I initially didn't know if this weapon had any benefits in terms of is it a viable weapon? Is it a must chase? Is it worth the crazy farming? Well today, hopefully, I will answer those questions for you. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and today I bring you another Borderlands 3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. So the Crater's EMP5 is an SMG that was introduced into the loot pool within the takedown at the Maluan Black Site event. And it drops from a couple of different places within the game. It drops from Payne, who is a one-time kill per story run, and it drops from the Valkyrie squad within the raid. Now to farm Payne for this wouldn't really be that efficient, as he is a one-time kill per story run. You could indeed back up your save files on PC, and I believe you can do this on consoles too, which is something I would not recommend. But if you ain't about that, you would literally have to restart the story per run in killing Pain to try and get this thing. Now I got a pal who got this to drop from Pain on PC as he literally just backed up his save and kept farming the Agonizer and Pain and Terror. He got this to drop after two and a half hours of farming him people. He said he lost count of how many times he killed Pain. So the drop rate here is super, super low. You can otherwise farm the Valkyrie squad on Mayhem 4, which is a much, much, much more efficient method. But even here, guys, the drop rate is pretty rare. I'll go on to say this is one of the rarest SMGs in the game in terms of a legendaries and its drop rate. It's just utterly nuts. So why? Why is it so rare? What's this thing offer? What's special about it? Well, like I said, going into creating this video, I actually didn't know. Looking at it though, although it looks amazing for sure design wise, its stats are well a little basic. Nothing here really jumps out at me. So let's dust off the beta EMP5 and get to testing. This by the way I believe is a reference to the MP5. EM as in M and P5, MP5. The beta part I believe is a reference to CSGO, where the beta MP5 was by far one of the strongest weapons in the game. So is this one of the most powerful weapons in this game? We will see. So firstly, after comparing it to some of the other popular SMGs in the game, the Devoted, the Cutsman, the Libsworth, my favourites, it really doesn't seem to impress damage output wise. Comparing it to such weapons it seems here are much better SMGs. Definitely the Kib's worth. And my testings were the same fighting against ads. I mean its damage output is good, but nothing amazing. Now after having a look online and being directed to Joltzman's video on this weapon and watching that I expected way way more. I don't know what he has on his version but mine for sure does not hit like his. I think it might be because of his mole's build and using things such as cloud of lead, scorching RPMs, click click, armoured inventory and a few others. It's really helping his damage output. I mean on my Zane build meant for speed with the new class mod anti-freeze I can get massive damage multipliers. But well, that's down to the build in reality, not the weapon. And the multipliers in terms of damage I got on the MP5, I was also getting on other weapons, which in my opinion were just doing better. The Kib's worth for one. Plus that thing lays down a healing pool. What's not to love about that thing? Now I wouldn't say this weapon is bad. By all means, that is wrong. The weapon is very, very capable, that is for sure. Now there is another variant which is a two times, which I guess would be better. But then it consumes two bullets at the same time, so you'll be spending most of your time reloading. So what else does this MP5 offer? Well, it seems to have a few hidden benefits. We see it states it has a 2.2 times zoom and a 4 times zoom, where you can't actually switch between sites. So what I believe this has something to do with is the fact that when you jump, your crosshair shrinks and the weapon becomes way more accurate. Also guys, this weapon when you have it equipped gives you additional movement speed. I'd say quite a significant one too, maybe 15 to 20%. So the Creator's EMP5 or the MP5 is a great all round SMG capable of amazing things with certain builds. For me, I feel this might be a weapon built to coexist with Zane and his new class mod, the Anti-Freeze because with this class mod, you gain 40% additional damage while airborne. And with this weapon, you gain major in-air accuracy while airborne. It also gives you additional movement speed. 
and Zane's best DPS builds or one of the best DPS builds come from movement speed. Pair them together and you are good to go guys. So yes, this SMG is a true beast when paired with the right builds. Take Jolces for instance, I mean he just absolutely melts everything on Mayhem 4. His video by the way can be found linked within the video description. And again this under Zane build I'm using at the moment. When all damage multipliers come into play, it does things not many other SMGs are capable of. Now credit to my friend Trolley Donkey for sending me this creator's EMP5 for review, so shout out to him. But yeah guys, this has been the creator's EMP5. I've been DPJ and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did leave a like it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Bodylands videos be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.